Hello, my name is Kylie from Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to be going over transferring items from your eEdge site over to the new Command IDX site. We'll be talking a little bit about what transfers, what does not, what it may look like on the new site, um, and the fastest and easiest way to get everything moved over. So as you can see here, we have the basic um, eEdge site set up. And a lot of these tabs may look familiar here. So we'll just go through each of them and talk about how they transfer over. So on the home page here, you have this customizable image as well as the search bar. That also does appear on the new sites. You'll see that the images change. You can have up to five hero images that rotate throughout. And you also do have the search bar on the home page. This is set up by default, so you won't have to worry about coding or doing anything to get the uh, search bar launched. That will um, be set up once the site is configured, which we will talk about shortly. So that is the home page. From there, uh, the EH sites have a search page. The command site does as well, but it won't be its own tab like it is on the EH sites. If we look at the command site, we again are going to be looking at this main search bar. You're able to search from here, and it will take you to a page very similar to this, where you can um, use the different filters to navigate and search for the home that you would like. Now moving on, on the ER sites, there's a cell tab. In this case, you'll see the title is What's My Homework? We can also create a What's My Homework page on the KWIDX sites. It will look slightly different, but the idea is the same. The client fills out this information and you will receive a notification in command with the contact. And that way you can reach out and work with them to um, get all the information that they're looking for. So if we look at our IDX site, um, we have a What's My Homework page here that we set up. You can kind of see what it looks like. It's still the general idea. They leave their name and their contact information, and they have the option to leave a message for you. That does get added to your command contacts when a client leaves their information. And from there, you're able to process it and um, reach back out to them. And just a side note, any of these items that can be added to the new site We'll go ahead and put a link in the description to a walkthrough. So for example, if you want the What's My Home Worth page, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description and it'll go step by step on how to get that added. If you do have any other questions or you want assistance with getting these pages added, feel free to reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. And now back to the EF site. We did the sell page. And now going on to communities. So right now, Command does not have a communities page like this. Um, we can get creative with it. You have the options of creating landing pages, which can be iframed onto the command sites. You can use one of the existing widgets to make a list to all possible communities. There are different ways to do it, but if you are looking to have something exactly like this, at this time the command sites do not have that available. And moving forward onto the Market Insider. Command does not have this feature quite yet, um, but you are able to, by using Smart Plans and the other tools Command has, create items like this that you can send out to your clients. It just will not be directly on the site like it is with eEdge. Now, as for resources, this option can be totally up to you. So in this case, eEdge has a blog available for you for your site. The command sites can also host that feature. So we recommend using HomeKeeper to create an account where you can get a blog that automatically updates content. So that way you don't have to worry about posting or deciding what needs to go up. It's constantly being updated for your clients. So if you're interested in that, there is a link for that below, or you can reach out to us if you do need assistance setting up a free account.
So the blog can be created as well. And now you see this um, finance page. Again, this is a page we can assist in creating. We recommend using the Contact Us widget. That is the same widget that is used for the What's My Homework page, where you can customize this title and this text along with the message in the box here to um, get across your information. So for example, if you're wanting to advertise this type of information, you can go ahead and type that out. Um, clients can then leave their information where it will be added to command. Now moving on to my properties. So what clients will be able to do on the new sites is similar to this. They're able to log into an existing account or sign up. We're just like eEdge, they're able to browse the listings, favorite, you know, ask questions, the whole nine yards. So it will just look slightly different on the new site, but the ability is there. Now most sites, if not all of them, have the About tab. The KW sites have that as well. So it just looks slightly different. It has all the information there. Um, it looks like this, where you can edit your bio, you can add your title, the um, headshot, email, phone number. So it's all there. And finally, we have a Contact Us page, which are also found on the new KW sites, which they can have their own individual tab, like we have here, or Go back to the home page. At the bottom of the page, there's a lead capture form as well. And again, when clients leave their information here, you get notified in command so you're able to move on to the next steps with those clients. And now some of you may also have testimonials on your eEdge site. Don't worry, those can definitely be pulled over. And in order to pull those over, they will need to be added to the leave a review page, which can be created. So the easiest way to do it would be to go over to your eEdge site, copy the review, paste it here, along with their name. You can put um, their address, you can do just the city, you can do just the state, and you can add in the year as well. And from there, you'll also be able to create a testimonials page so you can see here what it will look like. And those can be transferred over. And so there are also some additional pages that we can add to the new site that you may not have found on the EH site. That includes a local school search, um, a free mortgage calculator, the Keller Mortgage um, widget, as well as some of the ones that you have seen, such as the Homekeeper blog, the What's My Home Worth, and we can also add a Download My App page. A lot of these, overall, it is a pretty easy transition. Uh, so now that you've seen what can be transferred over, how the command site works, it's actually pretty simple to get it all set up. So what you'll want to do is go over to Command, and you'll want to select the Consumer tab on the left-hand side. From there, up at the top, you'll see Agent Site Pages. Go ahead and click on that. You'll be able to come down to configure your site. It's either at the bottom here or in the top right. Clicking on Configure Your Site will allow you to choose where you want to host the site. In this case, you'll want to select I want to use the new KW Agent Sites. So once that's begun, you'll get started. And I do always recommend setting up your marketing profile first because that is where this um, information is pulled from. If you do not have your marketing profile set up, it's just a little extra work to go back and fill in the blanks. And you'll see here that under marketing profile information, it's all filled out and ready to go. So you can verify the information's correct, make sure your profile picture is there, any logos you may have. And at the very top, you'll see the subdomain. You'll want to make sure that 
you click confirm domain. In this case, it's not letting me click because I already have it confirmed, but you're able to edit this text if you need to. But this um, is the key factor in getting the sites launched. So once you've completed these two steps, you can save and continue. You can choose between different themes, a dark theme or red, and you can see this is changing here. You can edit the text above the search bar as well as change out these images. This can also be done later on, so if you're not quite sure what you want to put there, you can go ahead and save and continue and edit it later. Now there's going to be three pages that um, come as a default to set up the site. These pages can be removed and edited later. So if you're not interested in, say, the company profile, you can click skip. If not, you can go ahead and fill out these boxes with the information you'd like to see. And then you can click continue, or again, if you're not interested in this page, go ahead and click skip. You'll have the about me page to edit, as well as the contact us page. And as you see, you can edit this text and save and continue. So these steps are what you'll follow to get the site launched. If you already have an existing site, you do not have to worry about that. You can go ahead and start adding pages. If this is your first time using the site. Um, this is the view that you will see once the site has launched. If you don't see your URL right away, that is totally normal. It could take anywhere from 20 minutes up to an hour to appear. But once that has been done, you can go ahead and start making changes to the sites. You click on this link, you're able to view it. And again, in the description is going to be more of these links to help out navigating through the site, getting it built, editing pages. And if you do have any other questions, you can go ahead and reach out to us at support at